wanna know what's really going on we'll Search for the answers, ain't question it all Turn your televisions off, cause you're being brainwashed Brainwashed, brainwashed If you wanna know what's really going on we'll Search for the answers, ain't question it all Turn your televisions off, cause you're being brainwashed Brainwashed, brainwashed What's going on everyone? Thank you for coming back to another broadcast over here at the Alice Network. Now guys, I want to show you guys last night that the Oscars, uh, I brought out a video yesterday talking about the funny pins, the orange American flags, which they stood for, you know, gun violence and the LGBT community and women's rights and blah, blah, blah. Um, last night was the Oscars. And I just want to let you guys know, Patriots, America, you guys are winning. Not letting them have a voice um, politically. Um, basically what we're looking at is the Oscars early ratings tanked. Uh, the show sinks 16% from last year. That's 16%. That's huge. Um, and again, I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to my subscriber, Not Sure, um, aka, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw his first name out there, Brian. He's a good dude, man. He's been keeping up and he's talked a lot last night on that video that I made on YouTube. Um, about Jimmy Kimmel, about what he was saying and stuff. He was keeping me updated, guys. I wasn't really watching it. Um, you know, I was hanging out with the kids, put the kids to bed, and you know what? I decided to go hop on the Xbox. Um, so I didn't watch the Oscars. I could have cared, re really could have cared less. And I just wasn't going to give him the time of day. Um, but anyways, you know, he gave an update about how Jimmy Kimmel, you know, he was up, you know, running his mouth, just, just like always. Um, but I want to let you guys know that you know, it's, you know, early ratings, 16% low from last year. Um, last year's Oscar landed a 22.4 rating in Nelson's overnight numbers, which counts 56 metered markets. That was down 4.3% in 2016's uh, numbers when Chris Rock hosted. And if you guys remember, there's been a video circulating of Netflix Having Chris Rock on there, you know, talking about he wants to see white mothers on the TV crying because of their kids getting killed. And, you know, just really, just ignorant shit. And excuse excuse my friends. I know a couple of my subscribers come up and said that uh, I should try to not swear <laughs> as much. And, and, guys, I apologize, but, you know, I don't write my script out. I don't, you know, I say it as I read it, and sometimes it just comes off the top of my head. Um, but also, you know... Rock's turn had already dipped 8% from its own predecessor. Um, 2017 Oscars eventually tabulated 32.9 uh, million total views, which was down 4% from the Rock-hosted ceremony. Last night's overall audience tally should be by noon today. Uh, so we'll, we should have the full own tally, but as of right now, it's at 16% low. It could go way lower than that. Um... So anyways, guys, I'll post a link in this description. And one other thing, guys, I want to talk about Hollywood here. I grew up watching, um, you know, just like any, any anyone my age, I'm 32 years old, knows the Back to the Future trilogy. We grew up, you know, thinking here in 2018, we was going to have flying cars. We was going to have hoverboards that, you know, with automatic laces. <laughs> you know, we really thought that. Um, and of course, 2018, we're still driving cars on you know, crappy ass roads, you know, breaking rims. I, I don't know about about what it's like where you guys live here in Youngstown. The roads are horrible, you know, the snowstorms, the ice, the snow plows, you know, they really tear up the, the streets here. Uh, this year alone, we've already bent one rim, had to buy a new rim, put a new tire on it, and then busted the strut at the same time, um, just because of hitting a pothole. But yeah, we're here in 2018. Hollywood has lied to us. You know, but I, w uh, I will say, guys, there's one article I'm about to show you guys, and it's, you know, it's a step, you know, towards the future, <laughs> I guess I shall say. Um, this is coming from Zero Hedge, and it talks about the U.S. Army tanks to get an invisible futuristic missile shield. Again, shout out to Brian, he sent me this as well, um, and I thought it was very interesting to, uh, looking at some of this stuff. Um... United States Army M1 Abrams tank, an American third generation main battle tank, is being upgraded with an invisible shield that will destroy all chemical energy anti-tank threats and other threats before, before reaching the vehicle. 
In other words, America's main battle tank is adding an invisible force field that is defensive measures, which is straight out of a military science fiction novel. Pew pew, Star Wars. Um, known as the trophy, this is the world's first and only fully operational active protection and hostile fire detection system for armored vehicles. So, so far, from what I'm understanding, America has it is the first one to put this service in technology. Now, there's a couple comments that's down here where someone's saying that Russia already has the technology and they've had it for years. Um, that's to still be proven. Like I said, this article is saying that the Abram tanks are the first one in service to actually use use the system. So, all right, guys. Um, I'll put the links in the description for you guys if any of these things catch your guys' eye and you guys want to read the whole thing in its entirety. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, click that bell notification right beside the subscribe. You guys will get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, guys. I appreciate everything you guys do. Showing up, watching the videos, commenting, talking, um, dropping your opinions. Later, guys.